What's going on, everybody? My name is Austin. You're back at Burgerfy Gaming, and this is General Adjusting. Content warning: This game contains depictions of penises and penetration. I want to play this game. <laughs> I actually just bought it. I found it on Steam, and then uh, I tried to convince the gamer and Doc to get it, and they said no because they don't want to be called gay. And I, I said that if I can't have penises on my channel, I don't want to be a YouTuber. So I'm putting penises on my channel. So yeah. Doesn't else to acknowledge. Okay. So, if you're all with me, we're going to Genital Joust. Oh. <laughs> God, I'm a penis. <laughs> okay. Bam! I got it. Press space to pull from the butt. So, like, hold on. Oh. This is weird, dude. This is really weird to control. What the? Why? Oh. Oh. This is. There we go! I hit it with my butthole. Why is my controls all inverted? This is... This is really weird. Hold on. I gotta... Is there not like an option? Hold on. Another apple. Okay. Well, I would if I could control this. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, poop. Eat it with your ass. Why a penis has a butthole, I don't know. It, no. Oh my god! Guys, the penis is out of control. <laughs> there we go. Press based pull from tip. Go to sandbox, okay. No one will ever... Hey, oh, hey, hey. Ow. Uh. Ow. I just want to run away. Why am I getting roughed up by the oh. 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 oh? John woke to the shrill cry of his alarm clock and lay there, rigid, his usual morning condition. But there was another reason John couldn't get out of bed. It was the weight. A weight that had nothing to do with his muscles or fat or sweaty blankets. John was weighed down by a piece of paper. The invitation to his high school reunion. From across the years, the words he'd heard in the schoolyard were still clear. You're a loser. No one will ever love you. Third month of tell reunion. Shut the fuck up. Alright, first John needed to shower and wash off the sweaty stink of desperate sadness. Why is this stuck to me? No! No! Fuck you! Oh, this is a little... A little concerning, guys. I don't, I don't know the controls that well. You turn on the shower, you can't hold. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna sit here. Get clean. Okay, now turn off my shower. I want to get like really um, high water fill. There we go. Now we're. I'm trying to work 
teeth. Get off me. Get off me, soap! Ah! John had three months until the reunion to turn his life around. First, he needed to clean up. John called it his study, but it was basically for games and porn. Mostly porn. Hey, who doesn't like games and or porn? Can I... Get off me. Oh! The only reason he'd ordered so much takeout was because Angel the delivery peen made John feel butterflies in his testicles. It's horrifying. Get off me. John suddenly realized the time. Distracted by his new drive to improve his life, he had become late. He needed to hurry, or he'd miss the bus to work. Okay. John had left his apartment late, but if he caught the express bus, he might make it to work on time. John didn't really like his job, but it had two qualities in its favor. One, he could pay his rent, and two, Barbara. Currently, John's top candidate for his reunion date. Uh, I'm lied down. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's like, uh, too much genitals at, at once for me. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Hi. John noticed a moderately attractive peen waiting at the stop. Hey. He tried to start a conversation and did not get the reaction he'd hoped for. It was probably because he was a minimum wage peen. She could probably sense it. I'm on the bus. All right, this is all normal. The office hummed with cold fluorescent lighting. The air was cold and stale, lifeless. How long had John worked here? Long enough to deserve Hello. better. Where am I going? John was late. But he felt daring. He could sneak into the office through the archives, or he could stroll through the front entrance with enough confidence to bluff his boss. John decided to creep in through the archives. Bitch. 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 Despite the obvious flaws, John thought it was a good plan and not a recipe for humiliation. I made it! Everyone else was hard at work, grinding away. John might actually get away with this. Oh god. Backing out. This way. Oh shit. Breaking your show. I lost. Hi, Mr. Penis. The boss. He homed in on John, deluging him with spit and buzzwords. The boss ran out of synonyms for John's failings and gave him an ultimatum. 
Barbara would definitely not be interested in dating John if he was unemployed. He had to get to the Quality Assurance Department. What is this game? I don't know, but I'm enjoying every bit of it. Ow. Okay, that's fine. There might be a faulty dildo just waiting to cost the company millions in lawsuits. John would have to test them all. Every atom of John's rectum began to vibrate with the frequencies of pure pleasure. His orifice was a paradise. This vibrator would end all wars. It was good. Yes, it was very good for my aims. Back up, back up, back up, and forward! March! The Prostate Pounder X900 series? The most advanced vibrator on the market. Sweet mother of no, John, that's too much pleasure for one anus to handle. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Somebody help me! John's butt hurt, but his heart was proud. If that vibe had gotten out into the world, it could have injured a customer as badly as it had ravaged his anus. The boss arrived and congratulated John on taking one for the team and jumping on the hand grenade, or in this case, putting it up his butt. John was having trouble following the conversation because he was quite high on suppository painkillers. And then the boss said it. Promotion. Finally, the company was recognizing John's hard work and ignoring his minor faults like lack of talent, constant lateness and flatulence. There you go, guys. You want to get promoted? Put a dildo John's on your asshole. John's office smelt like polished wood and success. John's success. Make space your own. Okay. Sam dropped by. He'd heard John had been hurt. John said he was fine. He wasn't a softy to complain about a mildly ruptured rectum. It's a cake. If I learned anything from Portal. Besides, he had a promotion ah! to celebrate. Ah! John had met Sam in college during a sports ball game. He'd given him some stiff competition. I'll show you stiff competition, ah, No. Yay! Not stiff enough. They'd started at Flesh Corp product testing together. Nothing builds a friendship like a long day of dildo mounting. Get in my asshole! Guys, I don't know anything about this game. Yes, John had known Sam for a while. But John couldn't hang out with Sam. He had a reunion to prepare for. He was going out with Barbara tonight. He just had to ask her. Where find Barbara? Everyone was quiet, listening to the presentation. A good moment for John to ask Barbara out. That's not Barbara, John. Oh my 
god! Guys, I'm stuck. Okay. I think that's stuck. Sorry. Move! Move! Move your giant pino out of my way. Barbara agreed. Well, she nodded. Sort of. Things were really going John's way. John tried to act as suave as possible and listened to Barbara talk business. He didn't want to blow his chances at long-term love and short-term sex. Barbara began to talk about monthly feedback figures and John started to zone out, imagining him and Barbara at the reunion, a power couple. She would make his classmates sick with envy, if he could get her to tone down the boring chatter. John's balls were gripped by certainty. Barbara was the perfect date for the reunion. John thought he would impress Barbara by going behind the bar and showing the bartender a thing or two. Despite Barbara's protests that it was unnecessary, John knew that a true gentleman should follow her home. He was excited. There was still three months until the reunion and he'd already landed his perfect date. All he had to do was seal the deal. Working on it. Barbara thanked John for the evening and politely did not invite him inside for coffee or sex, even though John had dropped some pretty obvious hints he'd be into both, or just the sex. The door slammed on John's hopes. He didn't understand. He'd laughed at all Barbara's pie chart jokes. He'd listened to her boring stories. Walk away Should I go in? The blank eyes of the lawn flamingos were witnesses to John's shame. Yeah. Hi. What? Ah! Ah! Guys, I was right by a worm. I'm gonna knock you over. Ow. John began the lonely walk home, thoughts tumbling like shoes in a dryer. He had done everything wrong. Barbara had led him on just to humiliate him. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at these skills. Oh, reverse. Oh, check it out. Oh, and we're going back forward. Oh yeah. Skills. I'm running out of pants shifts, that's all guys. <laughs> nope. Okay. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What's that sound? Can't go into the street. Maybe now? Oh, oh okay. I've played ball before. Fuck you. Stupid. Oh, wait, I can eat. Okay. Go in my butt! Anyway. Ooh. I thought most YouTubers are too, like, too scared to have us on their channel, but I don't give a shit. I'm having pages on my channel. Ready, and you ready, ready? Oh, drift! Oh, no, I wasn't. Okay, okay. Stand out this way, and then just this way. John felt empty. empty. How could he get love? Um, by... He felt like he was missing something. Some key to oh. attracting sex. <laughs> but John was shooting blanks. What did Peens want? Um, vaginas, I would guess. Then it hit John out of nowhere. Stuff. He had the success. He just needed to show it off. 
But where was John going to get all the stuff he wanted? John needed a sign. Of, buttloads of stuff for buttloads of cash. <laughs> A new day, a new John. He waited outside his local buttload store for it to open, eager to spend his promotion bonus on stuff. The best way to impress women. If it was buttloads of stuff John wanted, then he would need buttloads of cash. There's nothing like a rectum full of money to make a peen feel like a man. Feel like a rebel now. Oh! My dick's caught! Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, I'm too big, guys. I, I'm, I'm too fucking big. Ah! God, my dick is cut. Again. Go, go. Oh, I'm working on it. Can I just, wait? Can I, can I just not be down and go under it? That's thing I can... I, I wouldn't know if you missed. Nope, my balls are too big. Ugh, okay. Guys, this is, this is actually kind of... Suddenly it occurred to John that he was going to make a lot of choices. And every one of those choices would tell the world who he was. Did he want cheese or sausage? Sausage. Delicious. Mmm. Also delicious. John decide. Just so Moorish. What would a date think when they sat in John's home? Comfort or style? John went with comfort. Plus, it matched the couch he already had. John weighed up all the differences, but this was a tough choice. What's the difference? Something told John this was the TV for him. There. John chose the extremely Obviously bad TV. Uh, this, one. Oh. this one, my good person. John realized that it was only two months and twenty nine days until the reunion. Time flies. Cactus or Rose? Was John a rugged hero or a romantic poet? Uh, romantic poet. If John grew his own flowers, then he'd save on romantic gestures in the long run. Ooh. Why? There was nothing John could take with him to the grave. This one. Except his coffin. 
John liked to get his pizza delivered. That way he could see Delilah, the delivery peen. She always made him smile. I like pineapple on my pizza. Delilah thought pineapple on pizza was gross. This way, she would never know John's shameful tastes. What bedding would Delilah prefer? John couldn't help wondering. Regular sheets. Just like the regular pizzas he regularly ordered. Devoid of any sense of style, buying new clothes would be John's toughest challenge. John felt sharp and also like a phony. The silky fabric made John feel like a celebrity. Very spunk rock. A nice fit, but could John pull off the colour? John might want to take the hem up a bit. It was a bit breezy, maybe for summer. John decided to go with the outfit. Music, the food of love. Should John go retro sophisticated or just retro? John was sure he could just pirate extra records. Every can was made of metal, pulled from the bones of the earth, wrestled to the surface and smelted in roaring furnaces. Also, John could buy peas preserved in salty water and stick them up his butt. John's new purchases were on the way to his apartment. All he had to do was invite a date over. One look at all his stuff and they'd be overwhelmed with sexual desire. John felt proud and also hungry. It gave him an idea. He should invite Delilah over for dinner. You shouldn't want pineapple pizza. John was excited. Delilah was on her way. He just needed to set the mood to romance. John hoped she didn't have allergies. That must be Delilah at the door. The door opened and there was Delilah. John gulped down his nerves and invited her in. John could tell that Delilah was impressed by his stuff. It was time to crank up the mood to seduction. Offer one, okay, so I'll do this one. John wanted to offer Delilah wine, but he'd already popped his cork. Oops. Delilah started looking as nervous as John felt. He assumed it was because she was shy too. They really were compatible. Of course, at the reunion, he couldn't mention Delilah was a delivery peen. That would be embarrassing. Delilah <laughs> suddenly headed for the door. And just like that, John was alone again. 
Delilah hadn't even looked at his stuff. The rejection burned. John felt insignificant. He had everything he wanted. The job, the money, the stuff. So much stuff. He wanted to destroy all of it. Take that, TV. Shove it into the abyss. His stuff didn't matter. He was a shaft in the machine. Die, couch! A lonely piston pumping away like all the others in his rigid place. Nothing special about him. Oh, fuck, you. fuck you, Fridge! Fuck you all! Why should Delilah or Barbara or any other peen be interested in dating him? He was just like everyone else and they could tell. John wanted to be special, but he had to face the numb truth. He wasn't. And all the money and stuff he'd ever accumulate wouldn't change that. He thought it would make him unique. Get out of here, Lamp. But it just made him more like everyone else. He should leave it all. Get out of this little town and go on an adventure. See the world. Stupid records. He was a boring corporate drone, but he didn't have to be. He could be a traveler. John never liked plants anyway. Exploring jungles and climbing mountains. Be gone, boxes. Fuck here. off, inanimate objects. Sayonara, stool. He could visit the wonders of the world and get his picture taken. Like Peeny Island, the unspoiled paradise he'd seen on TV. That was it. John had to travel. Well, that was interesting. But we're going to go ahead and uh, stop here. I think. So... This is my penis game. I love it. I love this game. And if you love it as much as I do, please like and subscribe. If you have suggestions, get points up, comments, put them in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.